but I have a little idea mm -hmm. for a song. I'm like moved. Oh my god, this is that sounds so good. I'm so excited. Perfect. I love that. What do you think? I loved it. It was perfect. I know we have like 15 minutes, so I'm trying to be as fast yeah, as possible. Like... Today is a very special session because I'm inviting a new film composer and producer into the studio to work with me called Unica. I started composing since I was about 10 years old. I write music for films, commercials, and trailers. Leve and I, we overlapped at Berkeley for a year, but we, we didn't really work closely with each other. The thing about today is we only have three hours, but I think it will be a fun challenge for the both of us. The dream is to come up with an amazing pop orchestral track. Less than 3% of songs on the top 100 are produced by women, and there's no reason for it. I can count on less than one hand the amount of sessions I've worked with women producers. Women are no less capable of being good musicians and good producers. Something really has to change, and I'm really passionate about, you know, kind of showing girls that this is something that they can do. Did that just take you to a different century? After all these years. I have some ideas to show you. Mm -hmm. So I think I'll just take one of these guitars and go into the room and- For sure, I'm gonna plug in my computer and my all my sample libraries and we can just dive in. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So I have a little idea mm -hmm. for a song. Um, it's kind of, I don't know, cause it's like kind of rainy outside. I feel like I almost want like a lullaby or something. I'll sing you a little bit of the idea. Hold me close, hold me tight. The collaboration between an artist and a producer is, is so beautiful. It's a musical conversation the entire time. But a large portion of the world doesn't really know what a producer does. A producer is, you know, often a writer, it's an arranger, it's um, oftentimes an engineer as well. It's kind of like just overseeing a recording and getting a recording to the final step. Be mine. That's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. I, I already have so many ideas. Yeah. Music production is such an important skill. I actually learned it myself. I grew up in a small town in Indonesia before school. I watch a bunch of tutorials online for free on YouTube. And from there, I start experimenting. Oh, this is the kind of song that I like. It's a lot of things that you can do just in a box. What I mean by in the box is everything in my computer. So we have a MIDI keyboard in here. What I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna play the parts such as like the woodwinds or the strings, and while I'm playing, the logic session is also going to record. MIDI is the information that I record on to my computer. So instead of seeing notes, I see MIDI data, a note or a chord, and I can move and edit those. So this is essentially your orchestra? Yes. And then this is the mod wheel, and it helps with the expression of the playing. It gives a little bit of motion to it. So I'm not thinking like anything too crazy, too big. It's still gonna come across as like a lullaby, a set lullaby, but even more beautiful. Yeah. I think we're ready to hit the, the recording booth. Are you hearing any click? Yeah. Okay, good.
How do you feel about that? Honestly, good. Yeah? Should we just layer vocals on that? I think so, because if we want to go back and like change the guitar or take it away or yeah, add yeah. something, we can. Let's do a vocal booth. Yeah. I'm I see it in your eyes. Great. I'm happy with that. We just recorded Leve's uh, guitar and singing, and now we're going to layer the orchestra. We have an hour and ten now, I think. I think, I think we can do it. Even like first verse, it can be really minimal, and then mm -hmm. it kind of grows. Mm -hmm. And then I usually like to layer it. Something like that. That was perfect. I love that. What do you think? I loved it. It was perfect. I'm like moved. <laughs> when I'm producing, I'll start with the, the song. What is it about? And then I'm going to use my vocabulary to deliver the message as closely as possible to what the artist is envisioning. That's how I usually work. Yeah, oh, it's so cute. so cute. I would describe my sound or my music as string writing, a lot of oh, melody that's catchy to people. It's so magical how you do it. You like play and then you're like on the keyboard. It's yeah, like yeah, so yeah. cool. Yes. Oh my God, this is that sounds so good. I'm so excited. I love combining many different instruments, such as the woodwinds, the brass, to create something very symphonic and emotionally connecting to the audience. It's perfect. Yeah, that's perfect. It's good. The, the bottom, the low end, just like kind of makes it walk a little bit so it doesn't drag. Yeah. It's very, very beautiful. It gives it more motion, too. Yeah. When I first heard that less than 3% of the producers of top 100 songs were women, I was. I was shocked, but also I am in the industry and I see the amount of women that are producers and it really is shockingly low. Music production is very tech heavy. 99% is on the computer. So when people look at women, they didn't associate them as, oh, she's really good at tech. We're taught as girls that they aren't for girls, like computers are for boys, which is entirely wrong. Um, I think another part of it is just a lack of role models I think being able to highlight the women that are behind the songs, like, that's everything. How much time do we have? Um, what are we running on? 20 minutes now? 25? Ah. 20. <laughs> Unica's on turbo mode because I've never yeah. seen anything come together this beautifully and so fast. So yeah, we're working on the interlude part now, which I, I've yet to go and record. She's just building a magical world as a bed for that to lie on. Uh Oh, I want to I want to yeah. double that line. Yeah, I want do you, it. You have a line on the guitar. Yeah. 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 yeah you yeah, can yeah. double it. You can harmonize it. We are now going to go back into the live room, and I'm going to record cello. Okay. I love it. Let's find a spot where you play the. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah. With every recording I do, every time I go into a studio, I grow more confidence in myself as a recording musician, as a producer. It's a lot of just confidence, and sometimes it's just deciding, like, oh yeah, I belong here. It's just a matter of, of thinking it and believing it. We're done. We're just mixing the live elements that Levy just recorded to the orchestral parts that I layered. High five. Yay! Okay, okay. okay, I think Woo. we got it. Yeah, Should we bounce sure. it and go yeah. listen in the car? For sure. I hope this reaches the ears of the young audience, the little girls who grow up playing classical music like me and Unica, and see that they can, you know, one day be in a studio like this and make any kind of music they want. Oh, so pretty. <laughs> I love it. In the morning, I see.